Okay, Space Quest 2. Now this is uh, this is the Apple 2GS version. Um, first game I played on this platform, and uh, the reason for that is because this has uh, fairly improved uh, sounds and music. So it may not be the the authentic. Well, it is authentic. Well, for an emulator, but it's uh, it's not the DOS version. So it may not have exactly the same, you know, nostalgia for uh, for some of you. But for those of you who played on the Apple II GS, quite a lot of nostalgia, I expect. <laughs> but yeah, this is the first um, parser adventure game I've played on this channel, so this should be quite fun. There is a VGA remake of this, but it's um, you know it's a fan-made thing, and I kind of wanted to have a go at the original. As you will recall in our last chapter, you had just foiled the Sarian's fiendish plot to rule the, to rule the galaxy using the Star Generator as their weapon of destruction. You became a hero by saving countless lives and returning the Star Generator technology to safe hands. Life was beautiful. Yeah, especially since it was in VGA. The f I played the first one on the channel, and that was in that was the VGA remake. But that was the the official VGA remake. They never remade the later ones, or the later earlier ones. <laughs> okay. But heroes come and go, and people soon forget. You s your celebrated herodom slowly fades, leaving you, once again, a janitor. The promotion to head janitor was no consolation, especially since you're the only member of the janitorial staff. Nor was the transfer to Orbital Station 7. 4. I can't read. <laughs> Sweating like a pork beast in a pressure suit while relocating space degree in zero gravity just wasn't your idea of a good time. Left sucks. Again. Okay. Place Xenon Orbital Station 4. <laughs> it's a very pink space station. <laughs> so there was an Amiga version of this, but unfortunately it didn't make very good use of the Amiga's sound capabilities. It was just a straight port of the DOS version. Slightly different colour palette, I think. Um, but yeah. Uh, log on to duty, please enter your name below. Okay. Uh, should I put uh, Wilco? Uh, what's his name? Robco? Uh, damn it, I've forgotten his name. The, the main character. I'm just going to put Jim. Orbital Station 4 is one of many orbiting Xenon, your home planet. It's a transfer point for travelers seeking transportation to the various planets in the Eonon system. As we begin this chapter of our Story, we find you, Jim, ace janitor, doing what you do best. Roger Wilco, that's his name. Maybe I should have named him Roger. I don't think I have interaction at this point. A beep emanates from your wristwatch. You release your grip on the broom. Now, I don't know if that broom was an, a vital inventory item and I've now lost the game. Because <laughs> as I understand it, this game is pretty cruel in that way. The broom floats away, never to be used again. That makes the third one this week. Wait till your boss finds out. Okay. So, yeah, something I want to say ahead of time is if I get into an unwinnable state, so if I'm, like, walking dead, then please do let me know because, you know, I don't want to just continue pointlessly. Uh, let's just save because why not? Uh, one. Save. I can't destroy a directory. Why not? You have to destroy it! What's going on? Okay. Uh, shit. <laughs> oh no! I didn't test any saving! Oh, why? Um... Okay, it worked. I, apparently I can't use just a number. <laughs> okay. I don't know anything about the Apple II GS. Um, right, so... I don't know what I'm supposed to be... Oh! Oh! Oh, he's walking on the... Okay, can I do this? Yes! How cool is that? He's got like, he's magnetized to the, to the thing. Yeah, okay. So this looks like a kind of port. I can just use the arrow keys to move. Oh. Oh! Nice. <laughs> and we're in. Uh, well, we'll surely be in. There we go. Jim Wilco, reporting for duty. Stand by for decontamination. Oh dear. Decontamination of what? We're in the vacuum of space. <laughs> what the hell could be? Okay, so this is a parser game. 
so I should be typing commands. This is the airlock chamber. From here you can gain extra vehicular access. Spare suits hang on the back wall, some lockers are mounted on the side. Okay, let's check out the lockers. The lockers are all closed, there's nothing too interesting about them. I don't believe you. Open lockers. Aha! Now look at the lockers. You briefly peer into the locker and find a cubics rube puzzle and your athletic supporter. Okay, take cube. Okay. Uh, take supporter. Okay, now can we look at our... Oh, we got some points! 3 of 250! Wow, I feel so accomplished. Okay, cool. We have some inventory items. Oh, is this our, our janitor suit here? Uh, let's see, look, suit. You're dressed in standard issue excursion garment. Yeah, but, hang on, uh, what about this one? Can I, I can't actually just click on, th clicking on things only moves him. It's probably gonna, if I try, to, oh, I can just, uh, can I just leave? Uh, leave. That does not compute. <laughs> okay, just there we go. It's probably going to be annoyed at me for still being in my space suit. But <laughs> hey, look at this! Someone's coming to approach me. You've got a lot of nerve coming in here with your EV8 suit, John Jim. Screams your boss. That's your last straw. Turn in your mop. You're fired. Well, Jim, you certainly didn't get off to a very good start. Better luck next shift. Okay. <laughs> Typical Sierra adventure game. Thanks for playing. You've been very entertaining. Okay. Thanks for watching. No. Uh, I do that joke too often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I didn't exactly die. I just got fired. Uh, wait a minute. Is it in here? Yeah, here it is. Okay, good. Oh, wait. Yeah, I didn't actually. Okay. <laughs> Let's just get back to where we were. Save constantly. That's the lesson. C object. Okay. Ah, we can actually look at stuff in our inventory. The cubic screw puzzle has made you look stupid more than usual. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see our... Ooh. Our supporter. <laughs> it's a jock strap. This is your elastic, uh, athletic supporter. With that close inspection, you don't notice it to be... Well, you notice it to be well used. <laughs> okay. It's a bit lagging. Why is it lagging? Damn it. Oh. I've, uh, hang on. Okay, right clicking changes the emulation speed. Good to know. <laughs> so I just need to left click to do that. Okay, I'm gonna save again. Because save all the time. Let's just, let's just save in here. Save, uh, let's, uh, airlock. Let's actually name our saves. I've just used numbers. That's more fun, isn't it? Okay, so remove suit. I'll get naked if you get naked. You go first. <laughs> okay, uh, change clothes. There we go. Okay. Oh, look at him. Look at look at uh, Roger Jim Wilco. Uh, look self. Okay. Uh, can I look at myself? I don't think that's in view right now. Really? Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we, we've got four points, so I'm I'm, pr I'm proud of us, our progress right now. Look at this alien dude. It's about time you got in here, Jim. Head for the shuttle bay on the double, I'm warning you. You're on your last leg around here, bud. One more screw up in your history. I saved the galaxy! He then orders the transportation officer to send you directly to the shuttle bay and nowhere else until the job is going to be completed. Okay, sorry, where was I going? I've forgotten already. <laughs> I like playing a character who is equally competent as I am. What is this lift? Oh, okay, it's a lift. This is probably where I need to go, right? This this right here? That might be a shuttle bay. Let's just look around. You're in the transportation control room of the orbital station. The room is abuzz with activity as technicians monitor XOS4 operations. The pneumatic transport tube is accessible from the walkway above. Okay. Let's take a look at this door. Uh, okay. Uh, hatch? Is it a hatch? Okay. Uh, what's it called then? Oh, oh, it's like a. Oh, it's a train. Oh, it's not a train. It's it's a bubble. It's a it's a sort of a train. Okay. Well, this looks like the shuttle bay. Let's look around. 
You are in the orbital station shuttle bay. A shuttle fresh from passenger drop-off on Xenon is refueling for its next trip. A pneumatic transport tube, oh that's what it is, is accessible from the walkway. A refueler replenishes the shuttle supply. Okay, what was my job again? Uh, just to report to the shuttle bay, right? I don't know, man. Uh, this is going to be a point where I can fall down the stairs and die, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, if you're not familiar with Sierra games, Sierra Adventure games, they, they tended to punish the player quite a lot for the most trivial of things. I can't even walk over this. Okay, Okay, it's not a cable. Is it a wire? Uh, a, a pipe? Okay, fine. Uh, let's look at the shuttle. Shuttlecraft is your standard 10-passenger ten, ten short commute vehicle. It was primarily designed to ferry people and supplies between orbital stations Xenon and other orbiting spacecraft. Okay. Uh, look at the fuel. No. Hmm. Can I go around the other way? Maybe. Sort of. Oh yes, we can just walk under it. Okay, good. I guess we can go aboard. Permission to come aboard, whoever's there. <laughs> You enter the shuttle and start sniffing around for the mess you must clean. Okay. Surprised to find that the shuttle is not empty. There are two extremely ugly suckers walking towards you. Oh no. <laughs> hey, what the... Your favourite expletive here. What the bollocks? <laughs> oh no. Pow. Thwack. Bink. Thud. Your protest is cut short as two interstellar ruffians thump you unconscious. Everything fades. Oh no. Was that supposed to happen? Time passes. More time passes. A strange dream turns into realization you are being shaken and talked to by a voice unfamiliar to you. A dull ache triggers a distant memory of a scuffle in which you were the focal point. Upon awakening from your forced rest, it becomes quite apparent that you aren't in Kansas at uh, Xenon anymore. You find that you are being held upright and under physical restraint from both sides. You guess the by you guess the galactic goons. You may, okay. As you try to struggle free, you notice your hands are being tied behind your back. Are tied behind your back. As the eyes dial into focus, you make out an oddly disfigured being seated before you. Ooh. <laughs> A sagging mass of flesh that appears to have been made to have been human at one time. Tubes and wires extend from his body, leading to machines which keep him alive. Suddenly his vision stirs and he begins to speak. Well, well. Did we have a nice nap? I thought we would have to resort to drastic measures to wake you. Oh well. Welcome to my humble fortress, Jim. The name is Vohol. Sludge Vohol. I was the genius behind the star generator when it was still in the concept stages. It was to be my ultimate war weapon until some sissy pants scientists decided it would be better used saving lives rather than destroying them. What a waste of technology. Excuse me if I sound bitter. Anyway, you ruined my Syrian operation. I was going to use the star generator to make Xenon pay for what they did to me. They were going to know my wrath in a big way. You somehow managed to change all that. Oh, I suppose I should have known better than to use those mental midget Sarians. That's not a point, however. You are responsible and you shall pay. Besides, I have another plan, and you'll not be around to foil it. I have devised a plan so horrible, so frightening, so diabolical, that no one will be able to stop me. Observe my latest creation. I intend to infest your planet with thousands of these genetically engineered door-to-door -door life insurance salesmen. I will at last reap sweet revenge from the scientific community that mocked me. My plan was to kill you, but I've had a change of heart. Ha 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 ha, get it? Forgive me, I'm a kidder. I've decided I would get much more enjoyed watching you suffer. My associates will escort you to the surface of Labion, where you will perform many painful hours of manual labour in my mines. Been seeing you, 